Let's finish up this module by talking a little bit more about the marking menus and Hotbox and how we can access some of our tools before we move on to actually starting to build models inside of Maya. So we just have some primitives uh, out here. We, we took a look at using the, uh, the Hotbox here just by holding down our space bar. And we talked about how some of these different menus appear in the Hotbox. Right here in the center, you'll see Maya. If I click on that, you can see you can very quickly switch the view that you're looking at. So we could take a look at the front view, could really quickly switch over to a top view, back to perspective view, right view, and so forth. And there's even more options here for the view that you want to look at. And so if you don't want to kind of switch between views and move over to other viewports, you can go in and use the hotbox to change the view that you're looking at. So if you want to customize your hotbox, you can go in and under hotbox controls, you can see there are controls for Maya, uh, for modeling rather, rendering, rigging, animation, and effects. And these are going to correspond to our menu sets. So like if we wanted to show modeling only, we would just see the stuff that's related to modeling, just like we see the menu that's related to modeling up at the top. If you want to see uh, everything, you can just say show all, and that'll turn everything on. So you can really customize this. Um, to work the way that you want to work. You can also come down here, you can see at the bottom, I can come in and I can pick the outliner, which we've used a lot. You can come over here and you can see there are some um, component mode, things like that you can access. So you can see these little hash marks. Those indicate kind of different quadrants. So the layout for the windows or for the viewports over here on the right, um, command line, shelf stuff. So there's a lot of different options for where um, you are going to find the tools that you need and the stuff that you want to get. It just makes it easier so that you can get it all in one place versus going to different spots in the menu uh, to find that stuff. Okay, and also just reiterate when you right click, depending on if you have something selected or not, you'll bring up this marking menu. It's going to be very similar and you'll have options related to what you currently have selected. So in this case, I'm able to bring up the components that I want to work with and then also I can bring up some selection options and there's lots of different things that I can choose from this right click sort of context menu or this uh, marking menu. Okay, so over the last several lessons we've taken a look at kind of working in the interface and the basics of just kind of how to get around inside of Maya. So let's begin in the next module taking a look at how we can start to build up a model. So that's going to be one of the first things you probably want to do, build something up that you can work with. We're going to be using sort of a, a little pod ton of spacecraft to work with. And so in the next module, we'll begin that process as we talk about uh, what's involved in the modeling process and also uh, start to look at how we can bring reference into our scene so that we're not starting from uh, not starting without any idea of what to do and then also starting to build up that basic geometry. So we'll go ahead and do that next.